In this video, I'm going to share with you the 10 best website builders for bloggers, YouTubers, and e-commerce, so stay tuned. What's going on everybody? It's David, WebsiteCreatorPro.com. So what are the best website builders for bloggers, YouTubers, photographers, just any online content creator? That's what I wanna cover in this video. Now, you have a lot of different options when it comes to purchasing a website builder, and I just wanna go through all of their different pros and cons. Now, one question I'm often asked is like, basically, what's the difference between a website builder and say something like WordPress? Well, WordPress is a free open source content management system, and so that means you have your choice of web hosts, you have your choice of themes, your choice of plugins, et cetera, and you have a lot more specific control over the look and feel of your site, whereas all of those independent services are bundled together with a website builder for one price with one company. Now, regardless of what website builder you decide to purchase, you're absolutely going to need a domain name. And for that, I suggest Namecheap.com. Now, if you're ready, check the links in the description for timestamps as well as any resources mentioned in this video. So let's begin. Number one is Google Sites. So anyone who's been a subscriber of my channel knows I have a few Google Sites tutorials and Google Sites is just fantastic if you're looking to create a nice, simple five to 10 page website. And to get started with Google Sites is completely free and all you need is a Gmail account and then you log in. Once you log in, you'll be presented with a screen like this. You can click on any uh, theme that you want and then you're off to the races and you can start designing uh, your website. Now you will need to set up a custom domain name. Again, check the tutorial video that I have on Google Sites, uh, more on that. But that is basically it. It's very intuitive, quick and easy to use and you can be up and running with a Google Site within an hour easily. Now one great example is Flip Reska. <laughs> however you pronounce this. This is a fantastic site. This really this is a really good flex of like how powerful and creative Google Sites can actually be. And this is completely free. So the only per the only thing that this person is paying for is their domain name. And otherwise, it's a completely free uh, website where you can have a menu bar, you can embed different items like videos, blog posts, social media links, etc onto your site. So that's number one, Google Sites. Number two is Squarespace.com. So Squarespace absolutely lives up to the hype. They are an excellent website builder, probably one of the best premium website builders on the market because they just provide everything for one price. Basically, you get your web hosting, you get your themes, and you get the content management system and the design of your site all for one price. And they pay attention to on-page SEO in the correct way to actually help your website rank appropriately. Anyways, the pricing for Squarespace basically starts at $12 for the personal plan, $18 for the business plan. Now this is uh, paid annually. You can pay monthly, so that would change it to $16 a month, but most people I think would pay uh, annually. And for most people, I think personal plan is fine when starting out. And they also offer e-commerce basically if you want to sell specific products. Now it does over here say free uh, custom domain name. Now it's free only if you pay annually and it's only again free guys for the first year and your domain name is going to be stuck at Squarespace. So if you ever want to move away from Squarespace, it makes things a little bit more confusing. Uh, so just be aware of that. I definitely would recommend getting your domain name at a domain name register because that's what professionals do. Anyways, an example of Squarespace would be Caleb Wojcik. So Caleb Wojcik here is a popular YouTuber and he basically runs his blog on Squarespace and it looks fantastic. So, uh, you know, if you ever visit a site and you're wondering, oh, what WordPress theme is he using? He's not using a WordPress theme. This is powered by Squarespace. So anyways, guys, that is number two, squarespace.com. Number three is Wix.com. So Wix is the primary competitor to Squarespace and they offer a similar solution. That is, they provide web hosting, the content management system, and the themes and design all bundled together with one company for one price. Now, what I personally really like about Wix is one, their website uh, themes are very, very beautiful and impressive, but two, they have a free plan where you can just sign up to Wix and start creating your free site. And when you're ready to upgrade, you can make that purchase decision. Now, with regards to their pricing plans, basically the most popular plan is the one that you should get is basically the unlimited, which is $12.50 a month. The combo and connect domain name, these are kind of strange and, and unique offerings where like the connect domain name, for example, when you create a free website, your website's gonna be like wixsite.com slash blah, 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 whatever your site is. The connect domain name allows you to set up a custom domain name, but it limits you to only one gigabyte of bandwidth and 500 megabytes of storage. 
which is not that much and so that's why the unlimited plan really is the really the only option so it's 1250 a month and you get unlimited bandwidth and 10 gigabytes of storage which is great and they also have a business in e-commerce plan so unlimited business would be 25 dollars a month business basic is 17 dollars a month and so I definitely would recommend if you're going with e-commerce, you can just start with the basic plan, $17 a month, unlimited bandwidth. You can accept online payments, 20 gigabytes of storage, and this is acceptable to get started. And then when you're ready, you know, if your business, your e-commerce store grows, then you can upgrade to business unlimited. Uh, so someone who actually uses it is Sonja Van Duleman. I hope I'm not butchering that, but anyways, very beautiful, very impressive site. And one criticism of Wix is that you can make a very beautiful, impressive website, but they tend to be too image, image heavy and a bit slow. So you have to be aware of that. So I find that Wix sites look amazing, but technically speaking, they could be improved a little bit in terms of their speed and performance overall. But anyways, that is number three, Wix.com. Number four is Webly.com. So Webly is basically a very classic website builder that's been around for years and years. I personally find that their style and their themes are not a little bit dated, but they're just not as impressive as what you can find at Squarespace and Wix, which is, I think, why they're not as popular. But again, they offer a lot of different solutions for small businesses and content creators, whether or not you want to start up a store or you're a photographer and you want to show images or you just want to create like a nice little about me website. Anyways, for Webly, the specific pricing uh, for websites, you have free, so they have their basic free plan then connect where you can have a uh, custom domain name so you can set up your website for free design it make it look beautiful you're ready to go and then when you have your domain name at say like namecheap you can just go ahead and pay five dollars annually to connect your custom domain name to your website uh, or they have their pro and business plans which basically allow you to have a lot more flexibility over your site uh, so basically like uh, when you pay for say the pro like you removes the webly ads for example whereas if you just have the custom domain name and you're connecting it, you're still going to have a display of a Webly ad on your site. Uh, so anyways, a great example of this uh, would be Travel Like a Boss podcast, one of my favorite podcasts run by Johnny FD. But as we can notice down here, it's powered by Webly. So that that's basically what they mean by the Webly uh, ads on your site. So it's not that intrusive. But, you know, Johnny's just paying $5 a year <laughs> as a custom domain name, and he uses this site in order to host, basically, his podcast, and that is it. So, anyways, that's number four, Webly.com. Number five is GoDaddy.com. So GoDaddy has a website builder and it's a pretty good one. Now I, I tend to find GoDaddy to be a bit overpriced for domain name registration among other things, but their website builder is really good, really competitive. And so with GoDaddy, you can basically sign up for free to start creating your site to get a look and feel for how the website builder looks. And then when you're ready to make a purchase decision, you can just pay $10 when billed annually and it basically gives you everything that you'd really want. So you get a secure website, you can connect a custom main name, it's going to be responsive, you have 24-7 support, on-the-go editing, which just basically means like it's drag and drop. And you're really all set to basically get a website set up with GoDaddy's, and I'm really impressed by their website builder offering. Now, one great example of this is basically Coco River Organics. This is powered by GoDaddy's website builder, and it looks fantastic. It's a nice little homepage where it introduced people to the site and has nice imagery and just everything's in the right spot. It's displayed really well. It's not a super impressive website, but it just it's effective and it looks good. So the specific product pages look like this, where you have your categories over here, and then you have your different product points over there, and you can have the price point cross out. All of those little attention to details I really like and then the actual product page looks fantastic where we have the photography and then the layout of the specific product over here and it looks good I just think that this looks really nice and I think a lot of people would be surprised to find out that this is actually powered by GoDaddy's e-commerce website builder. So anyways, guys, that is number five, GoDaddy.com. Number six is Card.co. So Card.co is a very fun, creative, interesting website that allows you to create a beautiful one-page website for free. One page as in one page, not two pages. The idea is to, behind it is to create kind of like an online business card or like a simple about me website. And you can get started completely for free. Now, when you sign up for the free plan, obviously it's going to be a subdomain of card.co. 
and you're going to have card branding, but it is free. And then when you want to upgrade and set your own custom domain name, you can quickly and easily do that with their pro plan, which only costs $19 a year. And so let's just go ahead and take a look at a couple of their templates. And as you can see, some of their templates do have a pro tag to it, which means you need to have the pro plan in order to get access to this one. But there are plenty of templates that you can quickly and easily sign up and use right now to create your beautiful one page website with card. So anyways, that is number six card.co. Number seven is webflow.com. So webflow is again, another page builder and that you can get started with completely for free webflow. You're able to build very beautiful, impressive websites. And like all the others on this list, it's basically an all in one solution. So your hosting content management system and templates are all bundled together as one service. Now, personally, webflow's pricing plans are not particularly competitive compared to the others on the list. So let's come down here to the site plan. So basically they have basic CMS business enterprise. So basic and CMS, uh, basic is 12 CMS is 16. That's pretty much in line with all the other others. Uh, now, the one thing I don't like about Webflow is that pages, like why is everything limited to 100 pages? That's so strange to me, particularly if like you're wanting to blog, this isn't for you. Now, if you want to create a simple website, then there's, I think there's better options. So I just find it very strange that they would have this limitation of hundred, because I can tell you right now that WebsiteCreatePro.com has 70 pages of content regarding like pages and blog posts put together 70. And I'm just getting started with that site. <laughs> so it's like, I, you know, hundred, that's too limiting. Now, if you're looking for an example, we have fondamour.ca, basically a French website, and it's very, very beautiful and impressive. I love the way that when I scroll down, the there's nice transition of different images, text in the background, uh, you know, Webflow. Uh, the, basically, the websites you're able to create are very beautiful and very impressive. My only issue, again, is just the pricing plan compared to other options is not as competitive as it could be. But anyways, that's just my opinion. So anyways, that is number seven, Webflow. Number eight is Duda.co. So Duda is another interesting website builder in that they position themselves as the website builder for professionals. So what does that specifically mean? For example, let's take a look. Growing your freelance business, scaling your web design agency. Duda kind of wants to be the white label website builder of choice that professionals use. So say like if you're building websites for, for individuals or clients and you just want to have a quick, easy to use website builder where you can design and develop the website, then pass it off to someone else pass off to your client. That's kind of like what Duda wants to be. So anyways, let's take a look. So they have three different plans. So they're basic team and agency, and that is basically it. And so if we come down here to what you specifically get, you basically, it gets hosted on Amazon cloud, website personalization, you get HTTPS encryption, team assets, user permissions, and all the things that you need to, in order to build your website. So like white label stats and analytics, site comments, white label sales and marketing material that you only get, obviously, if you use the team or agency plan. And so it's a very interesting website builder in that they want to be the white label website builder that you can pass off to your clients. So an example of a site actually built with Duda is uh, Brass and Blade Leather Works. This site is an e-commerce website and it's completely built uh, by Duda.com. So anyways, that is number eight, Duda.co. Number nine is Shopify.com. So this list would not be complete if I didn't mention Shopify, and I don't think they really need that much of an introduction, but they are the leader in e-commerce websites. So if you're wanting to build a website where you're selling physical products, Shopify is still one of the best options available because they make selling physical products easy. It's an all-in-one solution where they provide the e-commerce tools, hosting, and design of your website all for one price. Now the specific pricing for Shopify is $29 a month as their starter rates. And you can also just try Shopify for free, 14 days, no credit card, just completely sign up, try Shopify out, have a test run of it, see how you like it. And then if you like it and you wanna make that decision to purchase, it's $29 a month to get started with Shopify. Now an example site that's actually built with Shopify would be something like harperwild.com. This site is completely built with Shopify and it looks fantastic, big bold, big, bold language, the homepage is set up kind of like a visual menu for the entire website and it just works. So everything is taken care of the e-commerce functionality, uh, accepting payments, uh, the web hosting, all of those little details are all taken care of. So anyways, that is number nine, Shopify.com. 
Number 10 is Format.com. So Format.com is a very good example of niching down and serving a specific market. So they are geared towards people who need a portfolio website. So photographers, visual artists, etc. Anyone who needs a beautiful uh, creative website that it's going to be image heavy and show a lot of different images as a portfolio. If that's you, then Format.com was designed for you. So the pricing and plans are as follows. Basically $12 a month annually, $18 month or $25 a month with their basic plan which is the pro plan you get 1,500 images on your website as well as image protection and then you get HTTPS secure website and then basically everything else that you would just need to design a good looking portfolio website. Now, a great example of someone who's actually using format is Whitney Mithorn, and this is her site, and I think it looks very beautiful, visually heavy. So again, like if you're in need of a portfolio style website, that this is for you. So all of these specific images that she has up here, but again, it's a complete website. So she has uh, a specific blog here as well, about page, contact page. So it's not just only showing images, you can create a full website blog about page, contact page, etc. But it's definitely uh, image heavy in, in the sense that it's designed for people who want to uh, upload a lot of specific images as a portfolio. Anyways, that is number 10, format.com. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. My name is David, WebsiteCreatorPro.com. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing, hit that like button, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.